Hi everyone, welcome back. I'm in this shirt again because I'm about to do something half exciting, half scary, but basically I have my Skype set up here. TV is on, I'm about to go on live to the six o'clock show, which is an Irish TV show that's on every evening at six o'clock. And basically they bring on different people and like chat, whatever. And they've asked me to come on this evening to chat about life in New York right now and how it is here and how we're getting on and stuff. So yeah, that's what's about to happen. So I have the TV on mute, but I'll pop up my camera somewhere maybe and you can see me like on the TV as I'm on Skype. And I don't think I'll actually be able to see them. I think I'm just going to be able to like hear the presenters. So I hope it goes okay. This is like my first time ever doing anything like this live from my apartment. <laughs> I'm used to doing videos and stuff, but not live stuff. But anyway, I better pop up the camera, get into my position, and hopefully you'll be able to see. We're done. The show's still on. I got my part out of the way. That was actually grand. I feel like I always get nervous um, before these things, and then afterwards I'm like, why do I get nervous? It's literally just having like a chat. But yeah, it went well, so. Oh, the lipstick on my stroke, oh my God. I got this like class pass thing and I've actually been really, well, if you watch my vlogs, I used this to measure flour recently because there's like the measurements, but then I use it for my water too. It's handy, it makes me kind of drink more. And I find that if you struggle to drink water like me, get a straw. It actually makes me drink more like get some reusable straws so anyway i digress <laughs> so that's done i'm gonna take off the fancy top now and put on something a bit more casual um we have a little bit more work to do today is did i even say what day it is it's thursday so i'm probably gonna vlog now for the next few days i would say like thursday friday saturday and then this will go live on sunday my last video was the Q&A, so I think it's time for a vlog again. And yeah, that's all my updates, really. Nothing else happening. I did go out for a quick walk this morning. It's a lovely, sunny day. See? Really nice blue skies. They actually really make a difference to my mood. Like, I think tomorrow it's kind of rainy, so I'm going to just soak up the sun from inside the window today. And then, yeah, other than that, all the same over here. But I will vlog now the next few days, and I'll show you what we get up to. Okay, it's now the next day. It's Friday, which is great. Um, I'm really casual this morning, but I'm just, I'm gonna do a bit of work today and then I will vlog like something more fun later. But I'm just about to make my iced coffee and I know lots of you ask how I make them and especially now because we're all at home and we're all making our own coffee. And if you just wanna switch up your usual hot coffee to a cold one for a change and see why I love them so much. Um, this is how you do it, so I'll show you now. Okay, so this is my setup. The machine I have is this Nespresso one. I can link it down below. I've had this actually since we moved into this apartment. I got it when we came here first. And I really like it, it's very easy to use. We just order the pods online or get them in store and it's very, very straightforward. You can do espresso and then you can do regular Americano. And it does actually have this milk frothing part of it but i have not used this once <laughs> which is such a waste i just i don't really like have frothed milk as much i just use a tiny bit of almond milk in my coffee so yeah that's a little bit of a waste and then tommy never uses this machine he drinks like uh, instant coffee so yeah that's a bit of a shame but maybe i will try it over quarantine and i actually am getting a new coffee machine um so this one is like pods it's very straightforward to use and i will definitely be keeping this but i love my coffee so i want to try a new machine that i can use ground coffee in so that should be coming next week so stay tuned for the one that i went for and i can talk you through it and show you like the differences and uh, maybe you can see then which would suit you but anyway today we're going to use this so what you do literally i'm going to pop this in ready to go i'm going to put my ice in my milk i do put the milk first i actually find that that helps i don't know it might not make that much of a difference for you but i like when the milk is in first then i'm going to put my shot of espresso in stir it around and then i'm actually going to put some cold water so i'll pop my camera up and you can see the steps doing this And then 
you just add a reusable straw. You don't have to have a straw. And there you have it. Um, you can obviously put in more milk if you want. You can put in less water, more water. Like try it a few times and just kind of see what you prefer to get it right. You can pop in more ice at the end, which I'm probably gonna do now. I just didn't have this fully, fully frozen because as you saw, the water went everywhere. Uh, but I would usually put a bit more ice in. And yeah, I just like a tiny bit of milk. That's just me personally but I know other people have like way more milk in their coffee so feel free to adjust whatever you need to do and then this will literally last me now for like an hour that's why I love iced coffee because even if you forget about it it's not gonna go cold <laughs> I'm actually going on a FaceTime call with two of my best friends at home I actually haven't really we've been chatting loads like on whatsapp and texting and stuff but I haven't been like chatting to them on a FaceTime yet so I can't wait to catch up with them. I feel like Friday is a good day to do kind of all the catch-ups and then I'll probably catch up with my friend Kira and Lorna over the weekend. It's, it's actually so nice to have that scheduled in, those like group chats because obviously we're not going out, we're not seeing anyone um, so it's important to still make time for that. So yeah, just a reminder if you haven't done it in a while or if you want to kind of schedule in Sometimes so I'm going to drink the coffee, call the girls, and then I will check in soon. Okay, it's a few hours later. I completely forgot to vlog. I totally forgot to vlog our walk and everything. Oh my god! Where did we go for the walk? <laughs> we're kind of getting a little bit bored of our walk, but I'm still very grateful that we're allowed to actually go out and do it. Um, we're still like not in lockdown or anything here in New York, so... We can walk, but we just stay in our neighborhood and go the same route the whole time. But we're home, it's Friday night. We're gonna make um, some dinner, and I think we're actually gonna make some cookies. We bought a mix in Trader Joe's. I think Kellen's making some stuff as well tonight. So we'll like see what they're all like together tomorrow. But I'll just have some dinner first, and then I'll show you how hopefully the cookies turn out okay. Okay, it's happening. We are gonna try making these. So we got this at Trader Joe's. It really looks pretty easy. I, I'm hoping we can't mess this up. So they're almond flour chocolate chip cookies. And we just have to add butter, vanilla extract, and milk. Let's see how this goes. What have you done so far? That was very close. Okay, so butter, vanilla extract. Now we add the mix. This is way easier than my effort. <laughs> Wait for now, they won't work. Oops. Okay, we're gonna use almond milk. Why are we not using cow's milk? Because one of us doesn't like it. One of us doesn't like almond milk, but we're not using <laughs> <laughs> You're just a great boyfriend, you let me use the almond milk. Oh yeah, okay. This is way easier when you buy a mix. Tell Ken and Abe that we didn't buy mix. How do you know when it's gonna be like enough? When it enough? comes together. You should really tell you how much you have to put. Did you not say how much? No, it just says when it comes together. Maybe another bit. Content we have going on in the party night. Oh, it's coming together. <laughs> Gather pieces of thing, roll to a little ball in your hands, and put on the thing. Oh, you do that part? No, sorry. Come on, you do that part. You're the content creator, I'm only recording. Step. Going in. How long are you putting them in for? Oh damn, don't say that. Oh, 10 minutes, I think. Bake for 10 minutes or until lightly browned. They're already pretty brown. Cool for two minutes on baking sheet and then transfer cookies to cooling racks to cool completely. And we're done. <laughs> and what did you do in this tummy? I gave the direction there. <laughs> 
So these are all all for me because you didn't do anything. I didn't carry the drink. <laughs> Smell them. Oh my god, they smell so good. Are they done? Oh, they look great. I know they're stuck together, but we won't talk about that. Are they done? Take them. You have to cool them now for two minutes, it says. Okay, they're done. What do you think? I'm gonna try them tell you. They actually look so good. I know we didn't make them from scratch, scratch, but still. Amazing. New favorite thing to do. The place smells so good. We'll taste now and let you know. Oh, this is your one. Get my up here. <gasps> Yum! Okay. Clean right it. You know, according to this, Rick is a total disaster. Mm. You do realize that Rick they are has a successful business and has employees who come to him with their problems. Mm -hmm. I think we could have possibly left them in for like two minutes long. But they're so good. Oh my god. Okay, we're gonna have these now. And watch this movie. What's it called? ACOD. ACOD. And I'll see you in the morning. Did our run. Did our workout, how did you feel? Great. It's actually a really nice morning. It's just down by where we live. I'm gonna go home now, shower, and make some breakfast. You guys, back home, and I just started my makeup, and I kind of thought halfway through that I should show you maybe doing it. Like, this is a very simple five-minute makeup. So I just did my go-to quarantine <laughs> foundation, my CC cream from H Cosmetics. I literally put the tiniest bit on, and like, you know, it gives like pretty decent coverage. And then for concealer, I used Born This Way from, I think, yeah, Too Faced this is, isn't it? Yeah, Too Faced Born This Way concealer. This is like very high coverage concealer. So I just put like a tiny bit under my eyes and then just use the beauty blender to rub it in. So that's all I have done. And then I was just starting my brow, as you can probably see. So I'll just, continue to do that so i have that one done i'm not going to do too much because i really don't need to today but because i am so fair and have like red hair my brows are really light so i get them tinted and obviously i haven't been able to go tint them in like four weeks i would usually do like every three four weeks so i really have to like actually fill them in i mean they're not terrible they will get worse than this which i'm kind of scared about and i'm just too scared to tint them myself I, I know Kaylin tints hers but I'll see if I get really desperate I'll, I'll get her to help um but yeah I'm just kind of quickly putting a little bit of pencil in and then sometimes I come in with my oh my god all the thing has gone off it I use it so much but it's from Benefit I forget the name I think it's brow this way or something like that so then I just like flick them up and kind of natural them out of it I don't like them too perfect so that's that and then for eyes Tommy's phone ringing um so then like for the rest of my makeup like I kind of sometimes vary it up but lately I've been doing the same thing I've been doing the same thing but basically yeah. I use this palette <laughs> for like the rest of my makeup besides my mascara so the eye color that I like to use this is from be perfect I think it was a collaboration um with LMD it's, it's really good. The pigmentation in this is so good. So I've been using this color on my eyes. So I'm going to just pop a little bit on today. I really probably don't need it, but it does open up my eyes a lot. So I just pop it into the corner. Now I'm just going to put it out there. This is not going to be my best tutorial ever because I just thought about doing it very last minute. Um, but yeah, I just put it into the corner and it just kind of opens up my eyes a lot. And like obviously with my hair color, and my eye color this works well but even putting the tiniest bit on makes such a difference to like how tired or like not tired i look you don't have to go overboard just kind of as much as you need and then i haven't been doing any liner or anything definitely no need for that at the moment but this is the mascara i'm using it's the lancome hypnose i think it is and this is great 
just like opens up my eyes straight away pop a bit of that on oh and then i also forgot that i do put a little bit of um the same color that i used on my eyelids under my eye as well i find this like kind of really ties it all nice and together and then i'll pop a little bit of mascara on my bottom lashes better already and then a bit of mascara under here not too much just a tiny bit I kind of have small eyes so this like helps to open them and that's that and then basically sometimes if I'm feeling fancy I don't I'm not gonna do it today but I will show you anyway but I'll do like some contour so I use I usually either use the Chanel bronzer or I also use sometimes this Rimmel contour stick which I think is really good too so you just like draw it on here and then I'll just like buff it in with this brush but I'm not going to do that today because it's Saturday <laughs> and I'm not shooting anything or anything today so I don't really need like very good makeup um so instead I'm just going to do blusher and again same palette this is the one I use um someone told me a while back that for redheads peach blushers are the best and I started using just peach and now I can't use anything else I love them actually that brush isn't the best um they're great they just really suit our coloring so any fellow redheads try and find a nice peach blusher and it actually makes a difference it's like subtle but you can still kind of see it and this will calm down a bit now as the day goes on so that's that and then for lips I do the same thing all the time at the moment so I do so MAC strip down liner it's my favorite I'll just put a bit on like that and then this I've been really enjoying it's from Patrick Ta he's a celebrity makeup artist and I got this in Sephora I actually did a video when I was in there and you would have seen me get this and I really like it so update a couple of months later it's really good and then let's pop that on it's like a pinky nude but it's just really nice and I like it again with my coloring and then I usually just pop a bit of glass over that. I go between the Fenty Beauty, Rihanna's line, this glass, lipstick all over me. And then I also love this hourglass glass as well. I think I'm gonna do hourglass today. This one lasts so long. And I just kinda pop it kind of in the middle of my lip. And that is it guys. That's my very quick and easy makeup. I'll try and link them below. Um, I have to like fix up my hair a bit now but hopefully you can see the light can be a bit bright here but very very subtle and very quick and honestly that took me I would say I sat down here like 10 minutes max and then I started filming like five minutes ago so I just had my foundation my concealer done added a little bit of eye mascara brow blusher and then my usual lip so yeah very quick and easy I'll try to do a better tutorial as quarantine goes on and maybe try some different makeup looks and stuff I'm not a makeup artist at all I'm very very amateur but I do love my makeup and even throughout all this it just makes me feel good like if I can just spend five ten minutes in the morning popping a little bit of makeup on it's crazy the difference it makes to my mindset and to my mood and I just feel ready for the day as if I would be going somewhere it kind of keeps me in that same mindset so yeah I've just been doing makeup most days I probably probably do it like five out of seven days um usually one day during the week I don't do it <laughs> I'm too lazy and then usually like one weekend day I'll just not do it either so yeah that's that so I'm gonna pop a few curls through my hair nothing too crazy just needs to be brushed after that run outside and yeah that's it so I'll pop on some clothes and then we will have some breakfast okay just popped on jeans and a cardigan um you can kind of see the makeup it's so bright in here today it's not even sunny sometimes the days it's not sunny it's like brighter but yeah you can see the makeup a little bit better in this light um we're gonna go just across the street to kill and david's to have some breakfast they're making us some eggs and stuff which will be nice and we're going to bring them our cookies you have them 
Yeah. Since they like them. <laughs> We're gonna bring them their cookies and I think Ken made banana bread as well. So I'll vlog when we get over there. <laughs> okay, so in this week's baking edition, Kenan once again produced a lovely banana bread. Oh, this looks so nice, wasn't it, honey? Oh. And then we brought our cookies, which are looking so great after all. But not bad. We tried. Okay. How's it gonna be? Texture David, I heard you had part you took part in this. Show? Oh wow. Ken, that looks so good. Not bad. Wow. That looks so that looks good. Look at it. Wow. I'm so, so good. Wow. This looks so good. Ken, well done. Me. David. <laughs> A joint effort. You have you did a good real. job. And they made us some iced coffees. He ate most of Five the Five stars, chips. you get. Yeah. David, that looks so good. Okay, I watched back one of the clips earlier and just realized how bad my nails are, so I apologize for that. Um, so I brought this over with me. This is the color that I have on. It's actually really nice. It's called Let's Be Friends from OPI. I'm not sure if this is like specifically Hello Kitty or like this is just the collection that they sent me. But this colour is so nice and Tommy's toes are in this frame. But I'm gonna tap these to get them out. I'm gonna tap these up now. Not leaving your cookie there for them. <laughs> okay, I'm back over in our apartment. Um Tommy stayed over because he wanted to play PlayStation. They got a PlayStation right when this started. In one way, it's great because it keeps them busy or whatever, but oh my god, what is with boys and PlayStations? Like, they could they could stay playing that all day long. But anyway, I came back and I've just been editing this video, actually. I just went into my bed and did it because I'm honestly so sick of working in this room. <laughs> so I moved to this room today, you know, just to switch it up. But it's actually now the evening. It's like 5 o'clock. Um... And one of my friends, she lives down here, her name's Carly. I saw her put in her story like last weekend that there's one of our local kind of bars, they do frozen margaritas to go, like into go cups and her and her roommates got them last weekend. And it's just kind of been like in my head ever since. So I think I'm gonna meet Tommy now downstairs and we're gonna go get a frozen margarita because I don't know, this week, I feel like it was pretty good, like I got some bits done, but I think yesterday and today I've kind of been feeling a bit like, oh god, just like not motivated and like I'm usually very motivated and I always find something to do instead of doing things, but yeah, I think I just need to kind of chill for the evening, drink a margarita, I don't know, open the window, get a bit of fresh air with my margarita, like a happy hour, just to kind of like break up the week and the weekend. So yeah, that's what we're gonna do. So yeah, if any of you are feeling kind of the same, let me know in the comments. And I do always try and be as positive as I can, not just for the camera, but like in general in my life, I try and like always get up in the morning and just obviously be so grateful for what we do have and so grateful for like what everyone is doing during this and like all the people that are helping so much. And I always try and remember that. But I also do think that it's okay to feel a bit weird and it's okay like not to be productive and doing something the whole time like we're in a pandemic like a crisis like our bodies and our minds have never experienced anything like this before so it's okay to want a margarita <laughs> on a saturday evening at five o'clock um so yeah then we're gonna go get them i'll show it to you when we get them hopefully now they're still doing them or they're still open they could have even closed between like last weekend and now because so many more things have closed uh but we'll see we'll walk down anyway it's really close um and we'll see if they're doing guys, it we got them in the to-go cups don't worry we disinfected these tommy hasn't got much of his left um but these are them a little bit of a saturday night treat we're going to put on some pizza now just frozen pizza and get cozy for the night cheers and put it into a nicer glass this is actually so nice Okay, update on what we're watching. We've now moved on to Zumbo's Desserts, which is on Netflix if you're looking for something. So, we are making more stuff tonight. This is like this healthy um, kind of cookie thing I saw on TikTok. So it's literally just bananas, almond butter, and cocoa powder that we got in Trader Joe's the last day. And then you just put them... In the little balls. <laughs> Oh 
morning guys, it's the next morning. I completely forgot to finish the vlog last night. Um, we had those new cookies, they were actually quite nice and we just had pizza and just relaxed. And yeah, it's Sunday morning now. We went out for some quick fresh air. Sorry, it's Tommy in the background washing something. Um, we went out for some quick fresh air and now I'm just gonna plonk down here, finish the edit on this video, get it live for you and then yeah, just get ready for the week again. We're gonna maybe do some food prep and clean the apartment and stuff. So all the usual Sunday things. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed watching. I will be back again Wednesday with a new video. I think it's probably gonna be a vlog again. I think I'll vlog now tomorrow and Tuesday as well. And yeah, into a new week. So stay safe. Hope you're all keeping okay and busy and just keeping your mind off things as much as you can. <laughs> all the noise and if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up subscribe so you don't miss any videos and i'll see you wednesday bye